And when the hour was come, he sat down and the twelve apostles with him. Judas was still present. Praise God in this uh, scripture. And he said unto them, Jesus said to them, with desire, everybody shout, with desire. I have desired to eat this Passover with you before I suffer. Before the cross, before the pain, before the agony. Praise God. He said, I desire with a desire to eat this Passover with you before I suffer. For I say unto you, I will not any more eat thereof until it be fulfilled in the kingdom of God. And he took the cup and gave thanks and said, Take this, divide it among yourselves. So if you're going to look at the picture when Jesus said, Take it. Divide it among yourselves. So the people did not queue in line. As what we have observed in our traditions. Atika, can you go back one verse? I, I, I want everyone of you to have a picture in this statement that Jesus said. And he took the cup and gave thanks and said, Take this. Divide it among yourselves. So they just cooperate and they divide it. They did not wait for Jesus to give them one by one. And they did not do it in line and Jesus raised that and said, open your mouth. No. <laughs> Jesus told his disciples, take this, divide it among yourselves. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. For I say unto you, I will not drink of the fruit of the vine until the kingdom of God shall come. Verse 19. Hallelujah. And he took bread. This is the only record of Luke that the wine was first given and the bread was the last. Because sometimes when we take Holy Communion, we eat first the hostia, the bread, and then last would be the cup of juice. But in the ritual of Luke, the wine was the first given. Here we go. And he took bread and gave thanks and break it and gave unto them saying, This is my body which is given for you. This do in remembrance of me. So everything, every time we do Holy Communion, we are remembering Jesus. Amen. Because he said, every time you do this, remember me. Last verse. Likewise also the cup after supper saying, this cup is the new testament in my blood, which is shed for you. So this settles the problem. They eat first the bread, and they drink last the juice. The, the juice or the wine was given first, praise God, and then next the bread. But they eat first the bread, and then they drink the wine. So there's no confusion. Everybody shall amen. Amen. So it is a celebration through the centuries. Communion is a celebration through the centuries. It started in the upper room with Jesus, with his disciples. It continued through the early church years. It is fitting for our preaching, hallelujah, at the beginning of the year that we are going to discuss this. Praise God. What are the symbols of this celebration? It was given in the book of Luke that bread representing the body, praise God, of the bread of life. Because in John chapter 6, verse 35, the Bible, Jesus said to his disciples, and Jesus said unto them, I am the bread of life. He that cometh to me shall never hunger, and he that believeth on me shall never thirst. The cup, representing the blood of Christ that was shed on the cross. I'm going to share three things to you, praise God, before I will share my main message this afternoon. Communion celebrates free salvation. Because communion's message is the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. And the message of the gospel is this. His death, his burial, and his resurrection. 
why the Bible did not mention his birth? I repeat it again. The gospel message contains the death, the burial, and the resurrection. Why his birth was not being mentioned? Here we go. Praise God. Hallelujah. Because the gospel message offers free salvation for sinners that will repent. I repeat it again. Praise God. The gospel message offers free salvation for all the sinners who will repent. Because the moment that they will repent, they will become born again. That's the content of the message of the gospel. His death, burial, and resurrection is our new birth. So he did not include his birth in the story about the plan of salvation. But he includes his death, representing our uh, present, uh, repentance of our sins. His burial, that is baptism in the water in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And then his resurrection, which is receiving the gift of the Holy Ghost. Because those three, when we do it, when we are responsive to the command of the Lord, it's our new birth. It's not his birth, but it's our spiritual birth in his kingdom. Everybody shall be there. So the, the, the gospel declares an active faith in Christ is the only way to be saved. Our good works cannot bring salvation according to Ephesians 2, 8 and 9. That was our Bible reading today. We are saved by grace, not by our works. Yes. Everybody shall amen. amen. Communion doesn't bring salvation, but celebrates it. Baka akala ninyo na communion kalitasan hindi. Communion doesn't bring salvation. But communion celebrates salvation. Clap your hands into the Lord. Communion calls us back to the cross. Communion celebrates full forgiveness. Everybody say full forgiveness. Communion celebrates the full forgiveness. It's not just one half. God will not tell you, okay, you repent your sins, I will forgive half of your sins, and then uh, come five years, and I will forgive the other half of your sins. Right. Yeah. When God forgives, hallelujah, He forgets and He embraces it all. Hallelujah, by the blood of the Lamb. Now I want you to consider the story that we have read a while ago. Consider those who were in the upper room in the first communion. Are you ready? In the first communion, Peter was there who would deny Jesus Christ in the next few days. Three times. What? Peter was in that first Holy Communion. And in the next few days, he denied Jesus Christ three times. How come he denied Jesus Christ? He take Holy Communion? Think about it. In the first Holy Communion, Peter was there. And after a few days, he denied our Lord Jesus Christ. In the first Holy Communion, Brother James, Thomas was there. But in the few days and weeks, he would doubt the message of resurrection. In the first Holy Communion, the faithful, hallelujah, was there and they are going to forsake their Lord and they will flee in the garden of Gethsemane with the authorities arrested Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Look at Mark chapter 14, hallelujah, verse 50. Praise God. And they all forsook him and fled. Who ran with the authorities? I wish Jesus. Those faithful who joined the Holy Communion. I'm not giving you a message. Hallelujah. For the year 2022. Hallelujah. To join this Holy Communion. And for the next few months, you will deny Jesus Christ. I'm not telling, praise God, and encouraging you to join this Holy Communion. And for the next few days, hallelujah, you will not be seen in the church anymore. But what I am telling you is this, hallelujah, that communion celebrates the full forgiveness.
Eastman in the day of Pentecost. Yeah. Yeah. Thomas was forgiven after one lousy week, hallelujah, of unbelief, and he cried, My Lord and my God, a revelation of the oneness of God, that Jesus Christ is not just a man, but he is the very God himself who manifests in the flesh. Don't worry about your faults and shortcomings in 2021. Hallelujah. Let's celebrate the full forgiveness today in our holy communion. The Lord will forgive. Yeah. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of Jesus. These disciples would become the nucleus of the dynamic early church. They flee, they pursue the Lord. But after the Lord restores them and His Spirit dwells in them, they become the nucleus, praise God, they become the core, hallelujah, of the dynamic early church. Now communion reminds us that we can all be fully forgiven. Everybody say amen. amen. In First John chapter 1 verse 9, hallelujah, this is what the Bible said, if we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Would you believe this is scripture? Yes. In order to be forgiven, in order to be cleansed from all our sins, we must confess. We must not hide our sin, but we must confess and forsake, and you will be blessed. Hallelujah by the grace of God. If you believe that, clap your hands and worship the Lord for the privilege to come presence and say, Lord, forgive me. I tell you, church, one writer said, there is no cosmic computer contains any record against hallelujah, just cleansed by the blood. Even your emails, your electronic messages, even you erase it in your praise God, hallelujah, uh, computer, Praise God. There still remain an electronic footprint. Yes. We can still search it. Yes, even you already erase it. That's right. Everybody shall amen. amen. Hallelujah. When we are being wounded, when we were young, there are scars in our skin that will remain. That would remind us how naughty we are when we were young. Yes. Everybody shall amen. amen. But when the Lord will forgive, when the Lord will cleanse our sin, there is no cosmic record that will remain. Because the blood of Jesus, hallelujah, is able to cleanse your soul. Wala na iiwang marka mga kapatid sa kasalanan na gawa mo. Everybody shall amen. Amen. Communion also will celebrate our fantastic future. Do you want to have a fantastic future? Amen. In serving the Lord, do you believe in yourself that God will give you a good future? Yes! Do you really believe that in the future, God will give you a bright future? Yes! Siguro, Pastor, baka nun ako ng bright future pag nakasampung kontrata kasi tinikwinta ko na yung look service ko. Very bright talaga. Tapos nung tumating na ang pangsampung kontrata, sabi ng Iyong employer, nag-declare ako ng bankruptcy. Biglang dumilimang yung paningin mga kapatid. Our hope is not in the wealth of our employer. Our hope, hallelujah, is not peace. Hallelujah, our savings. Our hope, hallelujah, is our, in our Lord Jesus Christ. That's where our hope came from. Everybody shall be met. We will share time with Christ in the coming kingdom. That's our fantastic future. This is New Year.
What Paul said in 1 Thessalonians chapter 4 verse 13. Hallelujah until verse 18. But I would not have you to be ignorant. Right. Heaven is calling. I don't want ignorant Christians. Amen. Hello. Amen. Heaven, hallelujah, is shouting. I don't want ignorant young people. Amen. I don't want ignorant single ladies. That when an unbeliever will court you, will just only say yes immediately. I don't want you to be an ignorant. Yes. Everybody say amen. Yes. If you have bitterness and anger in your heart, I don't want you to be ignorant. Forgive immediately. Really. Yes. Move on. Yes. But this is another issue. Paul told the Salonia church, but I would not have you to be ignorant, brethren, concerning them which are asleep. To those who are dead, Thomas, go. The one that I really love in my heart is already dead. And my heart is dead also. Praise God. That he sorrow now. Oh, wow. Sorrow now. Even as others which have no hope. The only sorrowful people in this world are people that have no hope. Oh. That's right. Yes. 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 So even those people who are 60 years old, senior citizenship, praise God, is already in the horizon. <laughs> if they have Jesus, they have hope. Yes. People who have hope are joyful, excited. Yes. Everybody say amen. Yes. Verse 15. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, here's the issue here. This is what Holy Communion is all about. We are celebrating and looking back what Christ has done on Calvary. Yes. Holy Communion is not just to taste the bread and taste the wine. Sali ako ng Holy Communion, matamis kayo yung juice. No, that's not the point. Ano kayo ang lasa ng gusto? No, that's not the point. Yes. That's right. Kung bakit Amen. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so them also which live in Jesus will God bring with him. Don't worry to those who died, who loved ones who died already. Because if they serve Christ, God will raise them up again. Yeah. Verse, uh, next verse. Hallelujah. For this we say unto you by the word of the Lord. By the word of the Lord, Paul said, that we which are alive, hey, all who are alive, smile. Amen. So those who are not smiling, uh, I'm not sure if they're still alive. <laughs> those who are alive and remain. <laughs> Unto the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. Yeah. Ang ibig sabihin niya, tayo mga nakadilat ngayon, hindi ibig sabihin na tayo mag-prevent sa mga nakatulog ngayon. Hindi. <laughs> I'm not talking about literal sleeping. That's right. Yes. Those who sleep right now, praise God. I'm not talking about them. <laughs> we which are alive in Him, we are alive, remain, waiting for the coming of the Lord. Yeah. We cannot prevent them to those who are asleep, to those who are dead already. Yeah. God will raise them up. Yes. Verse 16. Yes. Hallelujah. For the Lord Himself shall descend from heaven. It's not an angel, it's not another God, but who will come down from heaven, Pastor? It's not the second God, it's not the third God, it's the Alpha, the Omega, the only one true God. For the Lord Himself shall descend from heaven.
Did your employer already shouted at you? Do you think that's the kind of shout? No. With the Lord will descend from heaven with the voice of an archangel. Plus, and with the trump of God. I don't know how big is the trumpet of God. And the dead, just imagine, the dead will rise up. The dead will be awakened. If Sister, if sister Peggy is so asleep, <laughs> but just imagine with me all the dead will be awakened at the shout at the sound of the trumpet the dead in Christ will rise first Oh, you 
And he said unto me, John, write, write this. Blessed are they which are called into the marriage supper of the Lamb. And he said unto me, these are the true sayings of God. Jesus said, in the first communion, I will not eat anymore. I will not drink anymore until it will be fulfilled in the kingdom of God. So we will spend time with Christ in this, praise God, in this dinner, whatever, praise God, in the supper, the love, praise God. Kainan ito, mga kapatid eh. Kasi wala namang kasal na walang kainan. Nakaatin na ba kayo ng kasal na walang kainan? Everybody is saying, Pangit naman ikasal ka mga kapatid, walang kainan. Ano masasabi sa mga ninong at ninong? Kahit kapi man lang mga kapatid at saka skyblink. So, okay. Parang yan ang inisip si Sister Annalyn, kapi at saka skyblink. Kristo. Kristo. Hallelujah. So, communion celebrates sinners that are being made saints prepared for heaven. And communion always reminds us that the best is yet to come. Yes, yes there is still ongoing pandemic, but I will have a good news for you. I have a good news for you, OFWs. Fellow workers here in abroad, I have a good news for you. The best is yet to come.